The name's Angel, Sam Angel, born Sam Angelo Walker. However, when you're in the private eye business, Walker will put you at the bottom of the very long list in the phone book. Angel puts me at the top. I was hoping it was gonna be Ginger. She's a cute little redhead I picked up the night before. Nice legs and generous with them. Sam Angel? Mr. Angel? Her voice was as cool as a school dinner. Mr. Angel, are you discreet? I was hoping to discuss a delicate matter with you. Sure. Where are you now? At the drugstore. Next to your building. <laughs> you could have saved a nickel. The elevator's free. Excuse me? Come on up and let's see if you're my kind of trouble. I hung up and poured myself a drink. I ought to have locked the door and hidden under the desk. Doors open, sweetheart. She was a blonde. A blonde to make a bishop kick a hole in a stained glass window. Take a seat, miss. Mrs. Mrs. Sternwood. Put your drink, Mrs. Sternwood? No, thank you. And I prefer it if you didn't drink either, Mr. Angel. I wouldn't be interested in hiring somebody who smelled of liquor. Okay. Oh, and I prefer it if you didn't smoke either, Mr. Angel. Mind if I an orange? You're making fun of me. She gave me a smile that I could feel in my hip pocket. So, what can I do for you, Mrs. Sternwood? I want you to kill my husband. Do I laugh now or wait till it gets funny? My husband's dying, Mr. Angel. He has a terminal disease. Dr. Lennox says he's got less than a month to live. Believe me when I tell you this. This is not my idea. It's my husband's. I let her talk, but I've heard the story before. The old man is in a lot of pain, but she hasn't got the heart to help him along. He'd do the job himself, but there's a life insurance policy at stake. If he kills himself, she gets nothing, and he wants to make sure she's taken care of. And who the hell can blame him? I'm sorry to hear about your husband, Miss Stonewood, but what you're talking about is murder. I'm just a private eye. Oh, I know. I don't want you to kill him. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I thought you would know the kind of person who would be interested in this type of thing. I, I don't know, but I promised my husband that I would make inquiries. I owe him that much. Mr. Angel, this is a lot to ask, but would you at least agree to meet my husband and tell him your answer in person? I agreed. Hell, at least I get to see her again, even if I had to shatter the dreams of a dying man. Turns out Miss Sternwood was an actress. I should have guessed. She was in a play downtown and we agreed to meet in her dressing room. Her husband was waiting at home. She planned to take me there as soon as the curtain came down. And a little quality alone time with Miss Sternwood was alright by me. Two minutes, Mrs. Sternwood. Thank you. Oh, we're just about to start the third act, Mr. Angel. I shouldn't be too long. Then you can meet my husband. That's fine. I'm in no rush. You are here to meet my husband, aren't you, Mr. Angel? Yeah, but I'm kind of getting over the idea, if you know what I mean. I'm not a widower yet. There's a speed limit in this state, Mr. Angel. 45 miles an hour. How fast was I going, officer? I'd say around 90. Suppose you get off your motorcycle and give me a ticket. Suppose I let you off with a warning this time. Suppose it doesn't take. Suppose I have to whack you over the knuckles. Suppose I burst out crying and put my head on your shoulder. Suppose you try putting your head on my husband's shoulder. Heh, <laughs> that tears it. He's over there, if you're interested. There he was, dead. What had I walked into? My mistake. I didn't think you had it in you. When did you kill him? Oh, I didn't kill him, Mr. Angel. You did. She started talking again and my heart just sank. If I wasn't thinking with my six-shooter, I would have realized earlier. There was a folder on her table. It was full of photos of him and another dame. He wasn't dying. He'd just been cheating on her. Now she wanted him dead, and I was her scapegoat. You came here to meet my husband. He waits in here during every performance. You intended to blackmail him with these photos, but he pulled a gun on you. There was a scuffle, and then two shots. One kills him, and the other kills you. The stage ham will find you both in here whilst I'm on stage. Cute plan. One question. Why me? No reason. I needed a private eye, and your name was the first in the phone book. I finally outsmarted my own self. Goodbye, Mr. Angel. You're needed on stage now.
now, Mrs. Dermwood. I'm on my way. <laughs>